and welcome to another vlog. A few quick things for you today. First things first, the LG 3D, the first 3D super phone to hit the market in the UK is here. It's available in stock now at clove.co.uk. Um, comes in at a very competitive price point, currently retailing at approximately 389 plus VAT. Um, of course it's got the dual 5 megapixel cameras for 3D photography, it's got the 3D interface, links to 3D YouTube and 3D games and thanks to Gameloft uh, they've provided a series of 3D games for you to play out of the box on the LG 3D. Uh, I'm sure we'll have some reviews of this device on the blog in the coming weeks. Next, Murray. Uh, as you know, he put together a number of reviews on the Samsung Galaxy S2 that have proved very popular and they were very in-depth and detailed. We will now find him doing the same on the HTC Sensation and he's compar comparing that even to the Galaxy S2. Because they are very comparable, comparable devices, he is now um, putting them side by side, using them on a daily basis, not just playing with them, that's the important thing, he is actually using them on a day to day basis and uh, putting it through uh, complete tests and we've already seen some content but there'll be more to come over the coming weeks. Also our smartphone photography competition is well underway, uh, if you haven't got involved with that check it out at www.clove.co.uk forward slash photo. All you need to do is enter a picture or as many pictures as you like taken on a smartphone or a, a mobile phone or feature phone or even a tablet PC uh, and send that in uh, to photocomp at clove.co.uk for your chance of winning a new HTC Sensation or one of five runners up prizes. We've already had quite a few uh, entries but we'd like to receive more and it's open to anyone in the world so um, just enter something yeah you never know your chances because it's not judged on technicality it's judged on what we believe is the best photo and finally a quick demonstration of two new devices these are from ZT the Chinese manufacturer who've been responsible for the Orange San Francisco I uh, just want to show you these, these are pre-production units so what I show you and tell you may change before they come to market in the latter part of this year but I thought you might like to get an exclusive uh, visual on these. This is the Turis first of all, this is a touchscreen Android handset uh, comparable to the HTC Charger uh, or the likes of um, the BlackBerry 8520 um, in terms of its features and form factor. Um, so it's got a touch screen, it's got a keypad at the bottom here. This is an Azerty one but when they come to market it will be QWERTY. You've got all your Google features on here as you would expect. Android 2.2 um, on here. We've got a 3 megapixel camera on the back, so it's not cracking specifications, um, but it's got GPS uh, on here as well, um, and all your Google services. So this is a potentially good device coming out later in this year. One of the big things about this is the price point. It's going to be cheap, probably around about uh, 130 to 150 pound inclusive of VAT. Uh, you've got a vanilla Android experience so you can completely customize it there's no uh, skins on there from uh, people like HTC or, or Samsung and unlike the Blackbridge you've got a bit of a better keyboard here because you've got physical keys that have a tactile feedback um, and they've actually got spacing between them whereas some of the Blackberries actually haven't uh, and provide a little bit more of a difficult user experience and then this is probably the headline product of 2011 for ZT in the UK. This is the Skate and it's an es essentially a Desire HD. Um, it's an Android device, 4.3 inch WVGA display, 5 megapixel autofocus camera with flash, 1 gigahertz processor, 
Uh, it's got micro SD card slot under the uh, back cover. We've got approximately a 1400 milliamp hour battery. Uh, we've got the uh, plain Android experience on here. No customization by ZTE. So this is going to be really popular because the fact that you can uh, customize it as you choose. Uh, you've got all your Google services, but you've got no overlay of HTC Sense or TouchWiz or anything like that. You do have uh, physical buttons here at the bottom, not touch sensitive ones as we see on a lot of devices now. Uh, you've got your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi and your GPS all built in, so it's a fully featured device. Micro USB uh, charging. Android 2.3 um, it is a little bit more plasticky than a lot of the other devices out there. It doesn't feel quite as solid, but it does feel solid just in comparison to an HTC. It doesn't feel quite as premium. Uh, but the big thing about this device is the price point. This is probably going to come round in sort of the 250 including VAT price point. That's uh, £250, uh, which is nearly half the price of the Desire HD really. Um, and you've got almost the, the same actual experience. Yes, there are some differences, so the HTC uh, does have many benefits, but the ZTE Skate could be a really popular one as a secondary device, something that you want to play around with and customise. Um, so we'll keep you informed on the uh, progress that ZTE make in the UK, but uh, you will be seeing these devices online and across the web over the uh, coming weeks and months. So, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, uh, please do email us. But until next time, thanks for watching.